Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ted, and um, I'm so excited today because Android 4.2 finally got completely announced, completely released, and completely official by Google today as of October 29th, and um, I'm so excited because a new operating system always brings a whole new era of changes and a whole new era of modding and hacking and everything else by CyanogenEngine and all them guys. So um, here's the official announcement, here's the official updates of what's changed, the change log for Android 4.2, and let's get into it, guys. Um, probably the coolest thing and the neatest thing that I'm most looking forward to is something called Photosphere. And um, this is something really neat. You've got panorama already where you can take your phone and you can like uh, do a little 360 and get a panoramic view. Uh, I think you can do like 180 or 360 degrees. Um, now you can actually do a full 360 degrees up, down, sideways, just like Google Maps, only with your phone. So you can take your device and you can look up, around, and all the way uh, intuitively completely around yourself. And um, when you look on your phone, you can you can circle it through just like you can do on Street View on Google Maps. Um, really, really neat. The only problem is I heard that these took huge file sizes um, to get these massive, massive JPEGs. And um, it's interesting. I think it's a cool concept. We'll have to see how it actually works out uh, when I get the Nexus 4 on the 13th. So I'm looking forward to that. Moving on to some more features. Um, the next one is gesture typing, and this is very much like swipe. Um, the only thing I noticed, uh, I saw a couple, a, th a little 30 second video of it and a couple pictures, um, and it looked exactly like swipe, only you didn't have to get the letters in order. And uh, swipe wasn't very good. I found it messing up my words quite a bit, and not even getting the letters in order, I really don't feel like it's going to be as good as they might think it will. Um, it showed off very well, of course, in the video. They made it look fantastic. Um, but we never really do know until it actually comes out how well it'll be. Um, Skype messed up a bit. I use SwiftKey personally because I just like rapidly typing out letters. Um, but I wouldn't mind switching to swiping and gesture typing if it worked out well enough. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, definitely an interesting concept, and uh, I like updates. I just like seeing new stuff. So that's definitely really, really cool. Another cool thing is multiple user support. Uh, multiple users of support is something that a lot of people have been wanting. Uh, it's where you can have like your mom, your dad, your grandma, your son, your kid, um, everyone have a different user account on your tablet. And um, you just select on the top right of your tablet, you can click a uh, click the little uh, users and then you can click whichever one you are and uh, it brings up your own personal apps, your own personal wallpapers, backgrounds, uh, live backgrounds, everything like that is specific to you. And um, it's really, really neat. It, it's completely uh, it's completely functional. And uh, we've seen this before where you can like flash custom ROMs and you know, use one uh, one day and then have someone else use it the next day. Um, it wasn't very usable though. This is completely usable, uh, completely built in, and uh, it really does work well in the videos that I've seen and the footage I've seen of it. Um, I'm very excited to see this on my device when I get it. Um, I'm looking so much forward to the Nexus 10 and the Nexus 4 when I get them, um, getting the Nexus 10 for Christmas, and the Nexus 4 I'm purchasing by myself uh, when it comes out on the 13th. Um, I'm looking to see how these features actually work out because it looks uh, fantastic. Um, I'll have to see how it actually turns out when the device actually comes out itself. Next, you're looking at wireless screen sharing. This is a really neat capability that the, that the Android 4.2 devices will have, where you can share whatever's on your screen directly to your television just by using a wireless HDMI adapter on the TV, and um, it just works. It, there's no like you know pairing and connecting and then um, using cords to get your thing to work to your TV. Um, it was very archaic the way you had it in the past. It was possible, but it was just very very difficult. And you had to use the Nexus Q was a lot easier way of doing it. Now it's just built in. You can just have this thing that sends a wireless. Uh, a network thing to your TV, and um, as long as you have a wireless HDMI adapter attached to your TV, it just displays what's ever on your phone and it expands your television. That's really, really neat. Um, a really good business aspect can be used there, so I'd like to see how this is derived into real world use. Next, you're looking at a feature called Daydream. Um, this is another kind of a, it's kind of a worthless feature, but it's something new, and I like to see new stuff. Um, this is basically where if you plug in your device into a charger or if you leave it on idle, you can have it play uh, play your wallpaper, your galleries, uh, whatever you want, like a little slideshow in the background, and um, dim the display a little bit, use a little bit of uh, less battery power, kind of put it to sleep, only use a little bit of wallpaper as well. Um, it's just called a daydream mode. It's new, it's interesting, but I don't think I'll ever use it. So it's good that it's there, but it, once again, I don't think I'll ever use it. Um, also, you see uh, updates to Google now and expand one notification, so you can now uh, do more things, do more actionable notifications, as well as Google Now features got updated with new cards and improved interactions. Um, just a handful of new updates to the already occurring software on this device, and um, also you get something called Quick Settings, which is uh, very similar. Let's see if I can show this on my webcam or whether it'll show or not. Um, 
the quick settings are up here. We already have it in, a, in TouchWiz 5 um, on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Vibrate, screen rotation, things like that. Um, they're just going to be uh, quick settings, so you can change those very, very quickly from inside your menu. Um, it's something that normally comes inside of a uh, user interface that's installed by the manufacturer like Samsung or HTC. Um, but this one's going to be by default now, which is cool because I like it and uh, it's something that's neat. I've used it quite a bit. Um, a bunch of solid features here. I'm really glad to see these features. Um, once again, probably not going to use some of them all the time. Some of them might not turn out to be as great as I think they're going to be. Um, it all just waiting game right now. We got two weeks before the devices actually come out that are going to be running Android 4.2. Um, but I'm definitely excited to see the changes that it's going to make, and um, I like to see how y'all guys think about it. So let me need, let me hear your comments down below. What do you think of these changes? Are they going to be feasible? Or are they going to be not feasible? How do you think they're going to work out? And if you get the device on release date, let me know because I'll be getting it as well. Um, I like to compare thoughts. So other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. Hope you decide whether you're going to get an Android 4.2 running device. Other than that, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.